What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode, we are continuing our assault on Russia by taking the territory of Cherkask. So, let's fight and take the next Russian region. Uh, they've, they've, not, they've really not got many uh, actual territories left, so soon the end will be near. Then we can swing down through the Caucasus and attack Turkey. Well, then we can also start to deploy more troops. Uh, to the Americas because we are going to start fighting against the Mughal Empire and what we're going to witness is um, pretty much fighting against them on two fronts. So I'm going to want to drop my... because we're going to go heavily on the offensive. So I'm going to drop my guns back here to fire at whomever they wish. My howitzers are going to be positioned on the right to bombard the town. So let's put a core, a solid core of infantry going through the town. Heavy, well, cavalry heavy left flank because it's more open. Let's also run some infantry around the left with skirmisher support. These are my sharpshooters which look pretty good even with their white gloves. That might be a bit of a, a poor decision using with black powder weapons. I mean, it looks like they're not going to make that much of a show of protecting the town. So let's move our as a small depression. We do need to be pretty offensive. Okay, you guys just get in the town first. Send some cavalry around the flank. You need to worry because the mortars do a lot of damage. But our quick climbing howitzers have got moderate coverage of the ground ahead of them. General's been killed. Although I'm pretty sure that's just from counter battery fire that's caused that. Yep, they've been routed. Oh, I hear charges. Bring the cavalry to bear, don't worry about the lights. Turn firewall off. I'm sure they were interested, primarily because they are light infantry that was exposed. So these men are going to be in a reasonable position. I might need to pull some men from the, the town, securing the town. And do something more like this. And I can't have them attacking my light infantry. Gunners, focus fire that unit of militia. If we could kill those dragoons quickly, that would be great. Pikemen are coming in, but they're gonna they've taken a lot of damage. One more volley. Good, they were broken. You men don't walk, you men run. You guys attack that unit of garrison line. Good, get the infantry out of there. Get my cavalry out of there. The militia are coming in. Fire at will. Focus fire the militia. Throw the hussars back into it. You men strike the militia. Curiosier, get ready to fight against that provincial militia unit. So these guys are going to push up to here to make sure they don't engage in the wrong combat. Artillery fires causing friendly fire. Focus on the regiment of horse to the rear. The Cressier have charged, which might cause them to rout. Nah, they've steadied. The militia are shattered. Okay, let's get my Cressier out of there. Cressier out of there. Provincial lines going down. The 8th Regiment isn't going to put up with too much, too many shenanigans. Can 
the regiment of horse have had enough. take this infantry line and push them up. So they, they're engaging the provincial, that unit provincial line, but they've broken again. So now it's only this militia unit holding off my cuirassier that's, that's causing issues. You charge the militia, you focus on killing them. Let's run these men up just to help support the line. They're all going to focus fire on the howitzer. Let's get these, these hussars into the mix. We're not used to having so much cavalry. You focus on taking them out. Kill them, you kill them. Make sure you try kill them. All my guns cease fire. To be honest, you guys are definitely going to cease fire. That really is this provincial militia. Can you guys halt fire and present yourself to be ready to engage that militia if they break my cuirassier, but let's speed up time. Damn right, I'm going to continue. As the cuirassier broke them. Not that it really matters. Um, because we are attacking a city, um, and they are well. When they lose on the when they lose on the battle map, their army will be destroyed. So this is just to try and mop up some experience. Apologies, apologies I had to briefly mute my mic because my those felt a bit blocked up now I'm having to do a bit of fiddling there we go let's get in the right position so now we're back and we've won so that's Chikask taken there are a couple of Russian stacks that might want to uh... <clears throat> oh no sorry they were attacking us my mistake but they're sending troops back rapidly to try and deal with this to deal with it because they've they've not got many men left and we know we know now how many troops Britain has sat in um sat in the uh the Caucasus region. Yeah the Mughal are a concern. Curious. Very curious. So what I've done here in Martinique is is really quite sneaky. I think. So knowing how the AI works about sea control, my little guys have sea control and they can't cross over to the islands. So the only way, if this happens to you, the only way to get your men over to here is you need to send a fleet to blockade my ships in their port that removes the zone of control. Then you could land an army here and push my ships out of port. That's how you do it. Yeah, Tangier, keep on keep on expanding keep on growing so I've got you Philippe Scapin Scapin, Scapin Scapiche I do need to take out um, the Knights of St. John in due course there's no immediate rush not, not compared to everything else that needs to happen yeah you're definitely not going to let us leave for a long time. Just 
repair the nave hospital. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay to stay where you are. Actually, no, you could, ju could just auto-resolve. Those final battles. You can, well, we've already fought to take Chakask. Well, no, actually, now they're going to bring this army into, into, into the mix. So I might run you guys up to here as a bit of a reinforcement. You can take out that little raiding force. Then march east. Moscow garrison. Can they leave Moscow? Minus five. Becomes minus one. They can. So you men can begin to harry the Russians as they leave. All these generals. Do you want to march over towards St. Petersburg? You. Yeah, you will be needed to push. We will need more armies than we think to push south. That's the, the, that's an important thing to remember. So I think I might even send you down towards here. Because we are fighting against the Mughal Empire, we mustn't forget. So we have this Russian army here to deal with... We also got a lot of stuff we can do. So this force here, Palestine, so recruiting desert militia to act as a bit of a garrison. You're ready. You guys are at the ready. I might even push you guys up to the bridge. Then you guys push to here to protect the back of Ernesto Defendi. If these guys want to drive south, then when these guys are, re are replenished and ready, which might even be now, it is now, you can drive at the western side. Well, first of all, let's kick them out of this port. And let's take our oh, ships across to destroy that poor little sloop. We do need to boot them out of Cyprus as well. Although you should really be here instead. So let's recruit a cluster of fourths and let's upgrade you to a church school. Let's keep the conversion running. Because you... do you have a church school? You do. So then this agent can actually advance up towards Anatolia to try and fight off or get, fight their own fight off their own priests so that's going well you will need to fight Nikolai Stefinchin which is going to be I'm going to water that because I'm going to about to immediately fight a proper battle I didn't want to forget about that one so Ufa yeah done Komi is being converted but then this guy's going to Hop around this region. So you guys push up. We want to take out. So your army is pretty unbloodied. So let's move Nino Boscovich as a bit of a reinf as a bit of an experienced reserve. Let's march you guys into the steam power cloth mill, and let's go and engage this very artillery. Oh, he's not even close enough to provide support, but we can attack this uh, very heavy Russian. Uh, force with quite a green general as well. We've got some. I mean, Nino is our most experienced general in this theatre. By some margin, actually. But, let's go and attack this force, the Steam Power Cloth Mill, because all of these armies are also going to have to uh, both push through the Caucasus and also probably land in against Turkey as well. They're probably going to have to do that. I was hoping I would the push in the Middle East would draw more troops away, but it appears to not be the case. So I'm probably going to have to land like concentrated blocks of two or three armies. Okay, so this is a perfect position for these guns. Trundle up onto this hill. We have a great firing position. The howitzers are well positioned behind the hill. 
to provide cover. So let's give our elite units, or more more elite units, the job of securing the high ground. Then we've got some infantry to infantry on our right in the open ground. Let's get our skirmishers up high. Let's have a look at the riflemen actually in their green coats and their dragoon-esque helmets. Very heavy, heavy cavalry force. Let's get two on the open ground to the right. One can also try and clear the hill. The general's going to march up the hill with them. So let's advance, bearing in mind they've deployed their artillery in a terrible way. So these men try and advance down the hill. Where's my cavalry? Get you out wide because you might have to run blocker. Yeah, the cavalry, yeah, the artillery is just gone. They're not going to be too much of a problem. And it also means as I clear them out, we can advance down through off of this ridge line down into the the lands here. It looks like my howitzers might end up needing to fire round shot to be that much more effective. To engage a wider range of targets. So these heavy horse howitzers as well. They should be able to fire at me, I think. So here comes their regiment of horse. Oh, my riflemen are the only ones that are running. No wonder that triggered them to attack. They thought there was a lovely juicy skirmisher unit, completely unprotected. So this force here, you can advance down. Cavalry stay behind to try and stay out of their field of fire. I hear shrapnel shot going off. That's probably this three pounder horse artillery. So move my skirmishers up to take them out. You guys also charge the Regiment of Horse because you're going to fight them anyway. The gunner's up on the hill already. So oh, it's not quite a good, as good of a position. We're going to have to only use round shot rather than shrapnel shot. So this is very much overkill. But the infantry was going to bump into them anyway. So I may as well just attack the Regiment of Horse. job they missed. So let's push the line up to begin clearing out the artillery position. All of you sans cavalry also push up. You guys begin sniping the general's bodyguard. Let's get my cavalry carefully around the flank. They've, they're aware I'm hitting shooting at the general. So their move is to close distance. Close up. Doesn't matter about efficiency of fire. All my gunners pound this light dragoon unit. You pound that cavalry unit. Don't worry about their artillery. Okay, the general is deciding to run behind my line, where they can be ambushed by my heavy cavalry. My heavy cavalry, on the other hand, is going to advance. Their, their cavalry is just getting bombarded. Finally realised we can't put up too we can't put up with much more of that attack. They c our cruisers can't repel firepower of that magnitude. 
Come in, General. Down you come. There they come. Do you like the Russian? The Russian uniform pattern just look quite nice. General's been killed as they walk through a hail of musketry. You guys actually keep going around the flank. They support you with a bit of cavalry. I mean, is that even... Gonna say, is that <clears throat> is that even quick climb range? I was there thinking, maybe, maybe. There goes their their war bands. You chase down their artillery. Let's get our cavalry chasing them down because we are well aware of their well, the fact that they're. Uh, army is breaking so let's take advantage of that you guys chase down their light dragoons these guys are going to chase down their artillery crew you guys are going to slam into the side of this grenadier unit guys push up into the town you guys push through the town a couple of cavalry losses maybe from there ooh light dragoons to the rear charge them On my, against my heavy cavalry. Might have to charge them in and abandon the current fight. You guys, once you've reloaded, should annihilate those blunderbuss shotgunners. They're good at close range, but. So you guys, don't worry about the light dragoons. Mop up the grenadiers. Although it looks like their cavalry back here is going to go down. My cuirassier is going to see to that. So you go after the Light Dragoons because they're a bit closer. My general... Make sure you don't run into any cavalry defences, which you won't. So you... Go after that Grenadier unit. Engage the Light Dragoons in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Don't try and... Don't sit outside their range because they will just shoot at you. Halt all my artillery fire. Because the hope is you guys can mop up those dragoons pretty sh in pretty short order. And then go after the grenadiers. General, go after the blend of our shotgunners. So then you guys take position behind this bunch here. Just keep executing the artillery that remains. Obviously they've still got some men here. Folks fire the grenadiers. You keep attacking the Lord Dragoons. Actually go after the horse artillery general. Don't worry about the blunderbuss shotgunners. You guys keep trying to hit those grenadiers, but you will take out infantry as a byproduct. Okay, let's speed up time, because it's only a matter of time before they break. There's only one in yeah, there's only one infantry unit engaging my musket line. Kill their gunners, the other. Okay, now go after that gun team. Although that regiment of foot's probably going to escape over there. Yeah, it has. Come over here, 
join the fight for the Grenadiers. Get my general over here. You go after the blend of our shotgunners if you're going to be so funky about it. Okay, so it looks like there's a horse artillery crewman somewhere over here. I mean, even though he is over there so it shouldn't cause us too much of a problem so let's get my infantry out of the way get my artillery to pound that position just in case there is someone sat there you take out the blend of a shotgunner he's routed so it shouldn't cause a problem there we go that's them decisively defeated Back you go, you devils. So now Nino can mop up. Good. So Nino, you men replenish and get yourself over here pretty quick. Let's completely rebuild that steam pumped factory and get you over here quick as well. Balthazar, get down to Crimea. Crimea is going to be our launching post. To be honest, you could actually go down to Istanbul, Moldavia, the army at Moldavia. You guys can also go down to the south. So you're trying to build your forces up. I can't remember which one you were going to. You're going to them now. you guys leave Transylvania okay artillery and so on marching so much leave them to it upgrade the iron workshop my spy getting down to Ardabil you infiltrate Tbilisi you infiltrate Persia. I mean, I might have, I might have condensed their, uh, I might have shortened, or you know, squashed too many units together. You take out Antioch Alexandre. Yeah. March to the north to get ready to fight those guys in the pocket. These men march west, or mostly march west. You can actually come in and probably auto-resolve the rest of these guys, because they're all dead. Yeah. Then you can march in and take out Andre Buni. Yeah, because they're also pretty depleted. So you march over there and you march over here and then let's make sure we've got some good ships that we want to send over. So you actually don't go into Pamu, go into Libaya. Nope. You men repair. Because we are going to want to send some decent combat fleets over to join the uh, our effort in the in the Caribbean. So let's build some bunch of second rates. There's a nice balance between firepower and ease of production. You men, can you leave Saxony? You can. You march over and join them. This Corsican army needs to well, it is replenishing. Tunis army is waiting for the orders to go against Valletta. I mean, does, is, are they going to provide any surprises? Protectorate of Mysore. 
the Mysore is... Mm. Am I going to want to fight Mysore? Am I going to want to fight Mysore only when I've got like a good position? Because I want to be, I want to again push up to this river, take Tri um, Ceylon, start to push against Calcutta, and start trying to attack from every direction. So let's make sure every economy building and every religious building, to be honest, is up and running. So Kiev. Okay, don't really need the agent. Don't really need the priest in Kiev. So let's get you down to Dagestan. Workers on strike in, strike in Palestine, but not anymore. Workers are on strike in Courland, but oh, they are they are actually on strike in Courland. Okay. Sit these dragoons outside. You sit inside. Get them to chill out for a bit. So you're marching in the right direction. Got this army in Sweden. It's going to march down to Malmo. Got a brig. It's got a galley to guard here. Well, actually, I don't really need to now because I've got. Okay, let's swap this around. The sloop go to Malmo. You go to Rostock. You go to Aarhus, and then the Red Cavalry go to Lubeck. Got lots of military ports around here. Let's build a stack of seconds there. Let's build, well, not a stack, but you know, a batch. There we go. Obviously, we've got London. Let's upgrade the, the recruitment buildings in Edinburgh. So you've got four units that you can get. Actually five once you get rid of this militia unit. In attesa di altri ordini. Um, infantry is pretty much. Infantry is what you need. Five units of infantry. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're done. Because when we attack the Americas, except we have to fight lots of chaff armies like these but we're then also gonna have to fight Ooh. Jamaica is exposed so if I move two sloops out and if I take Pietro Castelli's army oh no sorry he was already embarked I am goon because you can now sail over to Port Royal Demand the surrender of the region. Hurrah! Let's upgrade to steam powered sugar mill, which they were going to do anyway, but eh. Well, there we go, that's Port Royal taken. So we can solidify our position in the Caribbean. Who are you? Ernest Carter at 5th rate, the Majestic. Oh yeah, we've also got Iceland up there. So maybe Iceland might be the preserve of this army. Because it's not going to be too crazy. We need two more texts to research. To be honest, when Bologna's done top gallant, so I'll destroy Verona. Because Bologna would better finish the percussion cap quicker. Yeah, the Russians are moving in. So you're not within range to attack that stack. I'm squeezing them in. There's a chance, said that these guys are going to attack this force from the rear. But what I hope is that we can get the option to fight a bridge battle where these guys get called in as reinforcements, but the garrison doesn't because they count as being um, sieged. So then these guys would hold the bridge, will hold the crossing for a while <laughs> um, but yeah, everyone's on the move so I think I may as well hit in turn let the units that still have capacity to move move 
let's see britain's going to be an interesting one because that's a that's a technical term a metric shit ton of troops i like that they're all sending a bunch of them south so it makes me wonder who is it they're fighting There's some pretty big battles against Britain we're going to have to fight, especially as most of them aren't depleted. So they're not suffering from attrition in the way that we might expect. That's so many Ottoman troops. You want to cross into my territory and begin to cause problems, are you? Nope. It's so bizarre why they aren't marching them out unless they really do believe that the, their best chance of survival is defense of the capital which i mean i'm not gonna lie it's working because i don't want to attack them yeah, you're gonna try and push east into jerusalem recruit troops into the water mill aha the russians are going to attack this force we've got guarding uh, the straits of gibraltar lots of lots of losses not surprised don't worry. What? Never mind. More than happy for Russia to have minor victories on land, on on sea, um, because we are um, going to annihilate them on land. Obviously, they're going to run. Some of the, <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have a solid front. Is that they just run around? Well, look, both of them, they've gone, ha, ah, we can go for Moscow now. And you're there going, oh, you annoying little buggers. The Mughal army's coming in. Nope, they're still blockading Antigua, which is a nice way to use up their ships and, ships and troops. But looking at the timer, what I'm going to do before starting all this is I'm going to end the episode so I can just roll straight on. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the next episode of my Italian States campaign. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>